You know, it's fucking crazy, dude. Even when the Jaguars win, there's always some bullshit that has to happen. So, um, first yesterday we had the whole bullshit with, uh, Tom Coughlin finding people for not attending rehab at the training facility, which is fucking stupid to even, to even do. It accomplishes nothing but piss off your players. But, um... Yeah, I, I think it's all pretty much a foregone conclusion that, um, especially after that shit, the Jags are the Jags are cleaning house, especially with him. But um, I found a little piece of news today that's pretty much just as disturbing. Now, even though you know me and Alfie Crow from Big Cat Country really don't get along, I mean he is a fucking idiot. But, um, I do look at that site just to see the type of bullshit he peddles, and some stuff I agree with, and also one thing I do like to read is the, uh, questions sometimes that people have. So, I got this one, and saw his answer, and if this is true, Tom Coughlin may not only need to be fired, but he might need his ass beat, severely, savagely. So, listen to this. The question comes... I'm not going to say this dude's name because I don't even know who the hell it is. There have been reports that Shad Khan is going to clean house in a few weeks and both Tom Coughlin and Doug Marone were mentioned, but not Dave Caldwell. Why not? Alfie's answer is, there have been leaked, unconfirmed reports that Dave Caldwell liked Patrick Mahomes and Christian McCaffrey in the 2017 NFL Draft but was overruled by Tom Coughlin in picking them. I don't think that's true, but even if it is, who cares? Caldwell has made more than enough dumb mistakes, that uh, made enough dumb personal mistakes to warrant firing for years. So, the one big, well, Dave Caldwell's kind of been hit and miss with draft picks. Some, in the first round, he's gotten a few right, but he later, ha he mainly has gotten picks right in the later rounds. But, the one big first round pick that would have made him seem like a fucking genius, Tom Coughlin fucked it up. Now, Christian McCaffrey, I'd say, I mean, I'd say he's the best running back in that class so far, but the thing is, Leonard Fournette has been a thousand has been a one thousand yard back year in and year out, and I said if we weren't going to take a quarterback, then he probably would have been the best choice. But the thing, but the thing is, with Christian McCaffrey, you know, having a having a better career, Leonard Fournette is still two out of his three years have ha has had a thousand yards. He's going to have a career high year this year, so he's been a focal point in our offense. So it's kind of like when the Bills drafted. Uh, Sammy Watkins instead of Mike Evans. You know, that's just one of those things where you got a really good player, but the guy but the guy at the same position that got drafted after you happen to be better. So I can live with that. But the fact we could have had the fucking Red Ranger. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. You do realize if that pick was made, we would have won a Super Bowl, right? Like, we all, we only lost in an AFC Championship game on a fucking bullshit call. But if we would have had Patrick Mahomes instead of Blake Bortles... Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, this dude... He... And you know, this really sucks too because like... I know a lot of younger Jags fans can't appreciate Tom Coughlin for when he was our head coach because he, he was an excellent head coach for us in the 90s. Had another team that should have won a Super Bowl. But... Oh my God, does he fucking suck as a front office guy. Like, he just completely tarnished his legacy in Jacksonville with this shit. If this is like if this is true, this is absolutely fucking asinine. And I kinda believe it is true. 
Because the minute Tom Coughlin got here, he said he wanted to commit to running the football. So who does he take? The most the most obvious running back in the draft. You could have had the fucking Red Ranger, you dumb old son of a bitch. Oh my god. Like, I'm mortified reading this shit. Like, this dude is, like... This dude is on an old man power trip. Like, why? Like, all you ha like all you are doing is pissing off people. You are making yourself unlikable. The fuck? <sighs> yeah. I'll always appreciate him as a coach, but fuck him as a front office guy. Like, th th this dude, like, I'm, I'm done. I can't defend him anymore. This dude needs to go. Bye.